What's up, Bobcats? In this lecture, I'm gonna go over blood typing. And what I have drawn here on the board, each of these circles, this is what represents a single individual red blood cell. And these sticks that I have drawn here on the top, this is what represents what we know as an antigen. So what antigen stands for is antibody. So that's the anti part, antibody generator. So an antigen is just something that the immune system will recognize. And when it recognizes it, it can form antibodies. This is why we call it an antibody generator. And so there are um, eight different blood types. So you can be A positive, A negative, um, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, as well as O positive and O negative. And so we're gonna uh, walk through and, you know, figure out uh, what we mean by that. Okay, so I've already said that uh, this, these individual um, markers here, they are antigens. So what this circle, what it's gonna represent is someone that is type A blood. So their antigen, so that we're gonna put type A here. So the antigen is type A. So this triangle here, that's gonna represent someone that's type B blood. For someone that's AB, that means that they have both of these antigens, which is shown here. So this blood type is AB. And then this uh, blood cell, red blood cell over here, because there are no antigens present <clears throat> within the phospholipid bilayer of this red blood cell, we know this blood type is type O, meaning that there's nothing there. Okay, so the next thing uh, to consider now that we understand um, about antigens, uh, so I just want to point out once again, so antigens, they are these proteins here that are embedded within the phospholipid bilayer. Okay, so for, you have someone that's type A, and I've already said that you can have, someone can be type either A positive or A negative. So what that positive indicates is that RH factor is present. So what RH stands for is, um, so the reason they call it RH factor is because uh, they discovered this in rhesus monkeys. And so if someone has the RH factor, we say that they are A positive. If they do not have the RH factor, that means that they are R, or they're A negative. So you can be A positive or A negative. So once again, we'll show, I'm gonna write this here, rhesus, on this in rhesus monkeys. So if someone is A positive, that means that they do have the RH factor. So we'll just uh, draw that. I'm going to put that in black here. We'll just indicate that as a square. So if they didn't have the, if they're A negative, that means that they wouldn't have it. All right, so I'll just erase it there. And so it's the same thing as you go along each individual one. So you can be B positive or B negative. You can be AB positive or AB negative. You can be O positive or O negative. Okay, so that's it for the antigens and then the, the RH factor. So the next thing to discuss is antibodies. So in one of my previous lectures, uh, what I mentioned was that when blood is centrifuged, it's separated into its two main components. So you have plasma and formed elements. So the dense, uh, the stuff that's more dense, that's what goes to the bottom. And so what's found here at the bottom of this test tube is the formed elements. And so this is where the red blood cells or the urethrocytes will be found, so these guys. Within the plasma, this is where antibodies are found. Another term for antibodies is immunoglobins. And so the abbreviation is IG. So I'll write that here. So immunoglobin. Okay. So for someone that is type A blood, they're going to have antibodies that we, uh, what we term them, we call them anti B antibodies. Meaning that if you give someone that's, that's type A blood, type B, 
then a reaction can occur. And so this makes sense because let's say that type A blood had anti-A antibodies. Well, that antibody would bind here. It would bind here to this, to the antigen here that's on this surface here. And all right, this is not a, this is not a good thing. Right, we don't want this to um, happen. And so, um, for instance, here in, in lab, the way we're gonna do um, blood typing once you come in. And so the way this works is you'll have this well and you're gonna put, you're gonna prick your finger and put a drop of blood in each of these wells. So there's a type A, there's a type B, and then there's also the RH well. And um, once you do that, you add the antibodies that are um, against it. So for instance, you put anti-A in the A well, anti-B in the B well, and then anti-RH in the RH well. So after you do that, you, um, you kind of stir it. And then if there's clumping that occurs, the term for that, we call that um, agglutination. We term this agglutination. If that's what happens uh, whenever we're doing the blood typing, that's what indicates your blood type, meaning that that antibody is binding to the antigen. So that means that you have those A antigens present um, on that red blood cell, right? So for instance, if you got it, uh, if you swirl it and then it clumps in A, the A well, and then also the RH, that would indicate that you're A positive. Okay, so back to um, antibodies. So if someone is type A blood, they have anti-B antibodies. If someone is type B blood, what, what type would they have? They have anti-A or anti-B? they would have anti-A, right? They don't wanna have anti-B because then it's gonna react there. It's gonna bind to that antigen. Okay, so then the next, considering what I just told you now, if someone is AB, are they gonna have any anti antibodies present in their blood plasma? No, they're not. So there are no antibodies that are present in um, someone that's type AB. So then if someone is type O, what are they gonna have? They're gonna have anti-A as well as anti-B antibodies. And so the specific type of antibody that these are, it's what's known as IgM. So there are, are a couple of different ones like IgM, IgE, IgG. Uh, uh, different antibodies, but these are the specific uh, types of anti uh, immunoglobin um, that it is. Okay, so now that we've identified the antigens and then all of the different um, blood types over so the blood typing, this was just, it's the same thing here because I put A positive or A negative, B positive, negative. A, B positive, or negative, and then O positive, O negative. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is go over who can donate and then uh, who can receive these different blood types. So the first thing that uh, I wanna show you is that we have universal donors and universal recipients. So based off of the information that I've told you, so someone that is O negative, right? Meaning that this would be someone that's O negative. There's nothing here. There are, there's no type, there's no A antigen, no B antigen. There's no RH factor. This is what we know as the universal, so I'm gonna write, so I'm gonna put, so O negative is the universal donor of red blood cells, meaning that they can give red blood cells to all of the blood types. So someone that's O negative, they can give it to AB positive, AB negative, and all the way down. Okay, so someone that is AB positive, they do not have any antibodies that are found within their plasma. And so because this is true, they are the universal recipient. So they can receive blood, so AB positive can receive blood from all of the blood types. So O positive all the way down the line. So I'm gonna write that here. Someone that is AB 
be positive, they are the universal recipient of red blood cells. They are also the universal recipient of, actually not the recipient, they're the universal donor of plasma. So the reason they are the universal donor of plasma is because, once again, they have no antibodies found within their blood plasma. So you can donate their plasma to anyone because there is not, there's no type of antibodies that will bind to the recipient's, um, to the recipient's uh, red blood cells. Okay, so let's uh, continue and finish and finish this diagram here. So someone that is O positive, they can give their blood to someone that's A positive, they can give it to someone that's B positive, and then they can also give it to the one that's exactly like it, which is um, someone that's O positive. So someone that is A negative, we've already said they can give it to AB positive, so they can also give it to AB negative. They can also give it to someone that's A positive, and someone that's A negative. Moving onward, so if they're B negative, they can give to AB negative, and then they can also give to both of type B bloods. So they can give it to B positive and B negative. So for AB negative, they can only give to AB negative. Okay, to complete, to complete this, if someone is A positive, they can give it to AB, and they can also give it to someone that is A positive here. Same thing with a similar case with B positive. They can give it to AB positive or they can give it to B positive. And then the last one, so AB positive, they can only uh, donate blood to someone that is AB positive. Okay, so that's going to do it uh, for this lecture. Make, uh, make sure to like and subscribe.